Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Today we're going to be learning about line segments. And line segments are basically a part of a line. We talked about lines go infinitely in each direction. But a line segment would simply go from one point to another. Just like in this connect the dots that I just did over here. All right, when we connect the dots, we're using line segments. I thought this one was cool because these lines are actually perfectly straight, but they look curved. But that's just a, one of those optical illusions. Anyway, line segments are going to be a little bit more like what we did over here. Line segments are usually shown like this or with two points on the ends. And you'll label those points like A, B, or something like that. And we can show that they're congruent or the same length by putting a small line between it. If you put one line in this one and one line in this one, that means that these two are the same length or congruent. When we add a second line, we have to label it differently. And so you'll put two lines through each of those. Again, the same number of lines for both helps us to identify which lines are congruent or the same length. Because usually we won't color code them like I've done here. This third line here of this triangle, I put three lines through to show that these two lines are the same length or congruent. Here's a question that you might be asked regarding congruent line segments. If line segment AB, which goes from point A to point B, is 4 centimeters, what is the measure of line segment AC? Well, if we know that AB is 4 centimeters, and we can see by this line that they are congruent, then AC would also be 4 centimeters. All right? If AB is 4 centimeters, then AC would be 4 centimeters. Okay? Those are congruent line segments. Which line segment is congruent to line CD? I have it written in here, BC, BD. Right, CD is congruent to DB because they have two points in the line segment. All right, so we would say line segment BD from here to here is the same length or congruent to line segment CD. The next part about congruent line segments or line segments in general is this is nothing to do with congruent line segments, sorry, just for line segments is a postulate called the segment addition postulate. This says that if we have line segment AB and we add it to line segment BC, and if B is in between these two, no matter where it is, then we have the full length AC is the length of AB plus BC. All right, so AB plus BC equals AC. All right, and also if AB plus BC is equal to AC, then we know B is in between those two lines. All right, so this is a postulate. It's just a statement that we accept as fact. We, it makes sense when you draw it out like this. You see that that, if you were to take that line segment and add it to this line segment, you would get the same length as taking from point A all the way to point C. It makes sense. So let's go ahead and put this into a question. Um, I've, I've suggested to use a drawing to help you solve, so I put a bit of a drawing here. If point H is in between G and I, so I'm going to put H there, and it's in between point G and point I. All right, those are the points that we have. And GH is 3, so the distance between G and H is 3. We can label that up there as well. And HI is 4, so the distance between H and I is 4. Then what is GI? So what is the distance of the line segment from G all the way to I? It's pretty obvious when we put these numbers in here that GI equals 7. We can write that in, GI equals 7. And that helps us to see, oh, the distance from G to I is 7. However, if we hadn't drawn this line and we hadn't labeled these points, this would be a kind of a tough question. Point H is between points G and I. GH is 3. HI is 4. What is GI? 
that kind of is, is a challenging thing to understand. So I encourage you when you see these types of questions that you draw it out. I'm going to give an open board here with a new question. I'll give you an opportunity. This is the last question that we'll do in this mini lesson. But just an opportunity to kind of use what you've learned and draw the picture. What you can do is pause the recording, go ahead and try and solve this question, and then when you come back in just a second, after you pause it, then I'll show you the solution to this question. All right, hopefully you're back because you went ahead and paused this recording and you want to see how to solve this question. I'm going to make the line black so that it's easier for us to see the points that we have. We'll know that this line will have three points on it. And we're told point N is between M and O. So N goes here, M and O. All right, let's see what we've been given. We're told MO is 18. So the distance from here, M, all the way to O is 18. All right, that's what we're told there. And M to N is 5. So our distance from here to here is 5. What is NO? So this is what we're looking for. We're looking from the, for the distance between N and O. That's what we don't know. And we can use the addition postulate, the segment addition postulate, to answer this question. We know that this segment N, MN, plus NO is equal to the full distance. Or in other words, 18 minus 5 will give us our question mark, what we, what we don't know. 18 minus 5 is 13. So that's going to give us our unknown value of no and O. All right? So this is how we can use this information to try and solve problems. Again, I highly encourage you to write this down. Draw pictures when you're given questions like this. It'll help it to make a lot more sense. Um, I hope this segment's been helpful. If you have questions, make sure to contact your math teacher and have a wonderful day.